Leo, this is your next 48 hours. What's coming in for Leo in the next 48 hours, Spirit? If I've kind of bypassed the intro, but my name is Renee and welcome. If this reading resonates, like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And this reading is for Leo. If you have Leo anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Leo, the Six of Swords. Okay, so your current energy is the Six of Swords. So I feel like you're moving into calmness. I feel like maybe things have been busy for you. Things have been hectic. And... Now you're moving into a calmer space, into a less hectic space for you. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. So it's very interesting that we're going from the Six of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles, Leo. <clears throat> We also have the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Swords. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Queen of Wands, Leo. So, this is my interpretation. Leo, I feel like... You've moved into this calmer space. You're moving into a different direction. You're leaving some place where you've always been. You're leaving your comfort zone, Leo. And I feel like this is kind of initiating some expired, inspiring action that you're taking. You're taking initiative on some kind of project that you're making, some kind of action that you know you need to take for some of you this is also you waiting for communication and I feel like that communication is like starting out very very swiftly within this 24 hour period well 48 hour period I feel like you're going to get some kind of communication that's going to give you information or insight. I feel like it's giving you information on someone who has been talking behind your back. Someone that's been taking rather than giving. Because we have the Seven of Swords right next to the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like with this energy. See with this energy. Seven of Swords. Someone is taking something. Someone is trying to steal something away. They're talking about you. They're talking behind your back. The Six of Pentacles is someone providing some kind of generosity, some gift. So I feel like someone is trying to take instead of give. Someone, someone's being used in this situation, Leo. And I feel like with the Five of Pentacles energy, I feel like you know exactly who this is. I feel like you are very aware of the situation. Because it's making you feel like you're being used. Like you're being unappreciated, unwanted, unvalued, you know. That's what I'm feeling with this first row. I feel like someone's, someone's coming to tell on somebody. Someone's coming to spill the beans that you may not even know that is going on behind your back. But what they don't know... Leo is that you're on solid ground you're using all the resources that you have at your fingertips and they're not going to sway you they, <laughs> you can't use somebody who's aware of it you know I feel like you understand that what this person is capable of and you're like catching them in the act you're not even 
being concerned about what they're doing because you feel like you have the upper hand and I feel like you have the upper hand as well. I feel like you, you have a lot of resources at your fingertips, Leo. Now for some of you, this is communication coming in to increase your resources, to increase your wealth, to increase your longevity. She's holding that pinnacle in luxury. You know, she's not worried about spending the pinnacle because she knows there's 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 another pin pinnacle right behind it. So she's not worried about her pinnacles because she knows her resources are endless. And I feel like that's kind of the situation that you're at, Leo. I feel like you understand that your resources are endless, like, you know. Well, if this is gone, I can just make more. You know, there's more where this came from. And I feel like you're in that space where you're like, I'm not going to let anybody use me. I'm not going to let anybody let me go unappreciated. You know, I want to be appreciated for everything that I do. And that's, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting from this reading. Like you have this nonchalant energy, Leo, like... You know, this isn't bothering you at all. You kind of know what's happening. You're very aware. And, <clears throat> excuse my voice, but with the Three of Wands, I definitely feel like you're growing. You're expanding. You're definitely learning this from the situation. You're definitely learning from the situation. This person can't fool you. You can't be fooled by this person, by this Seven of Swords energy. I feel like there's nothing that this person can say or do that can make you kind of turn around and take notice. I feel like you've turned your back on the situation. Like they're at your back and you're facing the opposite way. You've totally turned your back on this person who's talking about you that's uh, that may be the reason why they're talking about you because you turn their back on them okay but we have the hierophant so i feel like the hierophant he's a, he's learning he's also a, a teacher so i feel like with this hierophant and excuse me for saying this but i feel like with this hierophant you want to teach this person a lesson you want this person to learn some kind of lesson not to mess with you and not to mess with your money, not to mess with your people or mess with your reputation. That's the feeling I'm getting from this Hierophant. See, this Hierophant, usually in the Rider weight Tarot, he's sitting in between two pillars. And those pillars are the pillars of disobedience and obedience. But the Hierophant wants to do the right thing. He wants to travel the right path. He wants to teach, you know, and be a teacher, be a guide. He's also very spiritual and aware. So I feel like that's the energy that you have right now, Leo. I feel like you're kind of being the teacher at the moment. You want to teach someone a lesson. And it could be a hard lesson. You have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like this is you, Leo, really speaking your truth. You're bringing something to light. And I feel like you and others are going to take notice. I feel like if this is a person who's stabbing you in the back, I feel like you're catching them in the act. You're not going to go for it, you know. Very interesting energy, Leo. Very interesting energy. Let's see. What else do we have for Leo? What else do we have for Leo in this reading? Give me some more messages for Leo. Sun, moon, and rising. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. So, the Ace of Wands is bringing out your passion. It's ignite, igniting a fire. You know, this is you starting a new project, Let, not letting the past bring you down. You're not letting any failures set you back. You're moving forward in a very big way. You have two aces here. So definitely some kind of new beginning coming for you, 
Leo. There's some kind of new project. This is a new spark of energy. Some kind of inspired action that you're taking. The Seven of Pentacles. Okay, what else do we have for Leo? And the High Priestess. Yeah, you're definitely uncovering the secrets. And I feel like with this Ace of Wands energy, Leo, something that you're doing, something that you're doing, Leo, you're having patience. You're waiting for the right moment to make your move. You're being very strategic. And I feel like with this high priestess, you're being very secretive. I feel like there's mysteries about you. But I feel like you're trusting yourself. You're trusting in whatever actions that you're taking. You're trusting the path that you're following at the moment. <clears throat> You're following your spirit, you know. Hmm. Uh, give me more messages for Leo. What do we have for Leo? Sun, moon, and rising. More messages, please. Yeah, the two of swords. <clears throat> so definitely, this is you, Leo. Making decisions. And I feel like these decisions that you need to make may be very hard. But I, you know, for some of you, I feel like you're taking time to compromise. You're taking time to accept someone's apology in this situation. Yeah, you have the Four of Wands. So you may accept this person's apology and just move on. Just move on into better times, a better situation, and a happier time. This may be someone who's very close to you, Leo. This may be someone who's brought, yes, that's exactly what I was feeling. Someone who's brought you a lot of disappointment, but you're willing to forgive them and move past it anyway. That's exactly what I feel with this Eight of Cups energy. I feel like this is disappointment. This is you moving away from this disappointment. You've turned your back on the situation and now you're walking away. So whatever this is that disappointed you, Leo. You're protecting yourself. You're protecting... You're protecting your finances. You feel like this person is stealing from you. So you're watching. You're watching your finances very closely. You're trying to gain balance. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. So, you know, the Queen of Cups, she's deep in her emotions. But she's also very supportive and forgiving. Um, so I feel like with this energy, you may forgive this person, but I feel like you're not going to forget. Um, I feel like you've made a choice that once a person isn't trusted, they're not, they're not trusted, you know, but I feel like you're, you're still caught in these emotions to protect and support, but I feel like you're also feeling like, you're manifesting more than what this person is offering. You're creating more abundance, more, more of everything. Actually, you're. you're I, I feel like you kind of see that you have much more than this person. You have more action. More inspiration, more fire, more spark, more intelligence. Wow. 
Yeah, I feel like you know that you have more than this person. Very interesting. We have the devil. Yeah, so I feel like this is someone that you want to block. I feel like you're forgiving this person and you're willing to move past it, but you're not going to deal with them anymore. You're going to block them. You're not going to let them into your energy. Definitely. You made the decision. You've made the decision to forgive and forget. But you're deep in your emotions. I feel like this person hurt you very deeply. Hmm. Yeah, the three of pentacles. This is definitely someone very close to you, Leo. Someone's very close to you. <clears throat> you feel like this person has really weighed on taking something from you that deals with your craft, that deals with your skill. <clears throat> this one's very challenging to read, I'm going to tell you. The Page of Wands. I definitely feel like this is someone else coming through, Leo. Someone very immature. This may be at work. Because I feel like this is some kind of news that you've been waiting for. With this page of wands. This is the beginning of new ideas. I feel like it's just in the beginning stages. It's, it's, it's some kind of beginning. But I feel like you're taking your power back. In some kind of situation, Leo. You're regaining your power. You're showing your authority. I feel like... With this energy, yes. Definitely, you have the fool at the bottom. So definitely... Definitely some kind of new beginning that you're taking your control back. You've learned the lessons and now you're moving on in a very strong position. Whatever's lost, I feel like you've gained that plus some. The Emperor, he's he's a manifester. He's able to manifest. You've also had the Magician right under him. And with the Magician, of course, you can manifest anything your heart desires because you have all the tools at your capability. You're manifesting some kind of strength, some kind of power. You're mas manifesting something that's going to bring you a lot of authority. Because I feel like for some of you, you are an authority figure. You may be some kind of corporate person or you may be some kind of in in a job of authority judge um, officer some kind of authority figure okay let's get some monology cards let's see what the monology has to say for leo the next 48 hours please <clears throat> Nothing will come from this situation. Yeah, exactly what I feel. Nothing will come of this situation because you're aware of it. You know exactly what this person is up to and you've kind of caught them in the act. So whatever it is that they were trying to do, they're not going to succeed. You, you have your victory. You have your power, Leo. You definitely have the power. You have the power to change the, the situation in your favor. With the Magician and the Emperor. You you have total control of the situation. And of course you're showing up in a strong way Leo. Confidence is the key to your success. And I feel like you're very confident. You're confident that you're going to win. Because. Because what's going on you're fully aware of. 
we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. So definitely in need of, of some balance at the moment. Definitely in need of some balance. This may be a Pisces who's trying to get over on you. Maybe a Pisces. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe. The spirits are letting you know that you have safety. You have protection. Whatever this person has intended to do to you, whatever they're trying to do is not going to succeed because you have protection and you're being guided along your path, Leo. You're being made fully aware of their attentions before they even start. So I feel like you have protection. You have this awareness, this high priestess energy that's bringing a lot of truth, that's showing you to trust, you know. Okay, we have change. I feel like you're changing this situation, Leo, and you're turning this situation in your favor. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And especially with this Eight of Wands energy, I feel like there's a lot of movement going on. There's a lot of communication. There's definitely a spark of change going on. Some kind of new beginning with this Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands energy. Some kind of new beginning is going on. You're inspired by something. Leo, we have self-esteem. I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So definitely, that's your confidence. That's that Leo energy, you know? We also have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. And I feel like you do. I feel like you accept responsibility for the things that you do. Um, and I feel like you expect other people to take responsibility for the things that they do as well. I feel like you hold them accountable, you know. Okay, let's take a look at another card for Leo. Let's see, we're going to do this one. <clears throat> and more messages for Leo, please. What's coming in the next 48 hours? What's coming in the next 48 hours for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Intuition and downloads. You're, you're getting some kind of downloads that's letting you know about the situation. It's making you fully aware of who's on your side and who's not. I feel like you're, you are intuitively seeing people for who they really are and what they stand for. I see, I, I feel like you can kind of clear them out, you know, and that's exactly what I'm feeling. Clear, cancel, and release. If a person doesn't fit your mold, I feel like you're releasing the energy. You're just totally trying to bypass it, not even giving it any strength. You know, you're, you're moving past the energy and you're moving in a strong direction. You have healing energy, definitely. Definitely, you have healing. Okay, I'm going to take a few more cards for Leo. What does Leo need to know for the next 48 hours? What does Leo need to know, please? <clears throat> We have soulmate energy. You may have someone coming through. But this may be someone that you thought was a soulmate. Who's bringing you so much disappointment. Very interesting. I'm going to have to clarify that. We also have grief. So definitely we've seen that with disappointment. And I feel like. It may bother you to let this go, but you understand that it's complete, it's done, it's over with, it's time to move on and move past it. I feel like this, this situation, this person may have done this one too many times and now you feel like you're done with it. You know, it's, it's over, I'm not taking it no more. 
uh, this is that person's last chance. And I feel like, you know, this is bringing you some sadness and some disappointment. But I feel like you understand. Let's clarify the situation for Leo. Clarify the situation for Leo, please. The Three of Wands. Yes, you're moving forward, Leo. You're leaving the past in the past and you're moving forward to the future. You're expanding your world. For some of you, this is also you traveling, moving to a new destination. The Four of Cups. I feel like whatever the situation is, it's kind of hard to leave the thoughts behind, you know. But I feel like this is you sort of feeling the disappointments that's going on in the next 48 hours. The next 48 hours may be a little intense for you. I feel like your emotions are kind of swarming. But you also have the Nine of Cups. So I feel like you're rebounding. You're moving from the Four of Cups energy to the Nine of Cups energy. So you're definitely in this strong healing energy. You're finding your contentment again. You're finding your balance. I feel like you're not letting this bring you down. Definitely. A lot of truth is coming out in the next 48 hours. I feel like you're going to be speaking your truth. And I feel like your truth is going to cut like a sword. Somebody may not be able to take the truth that they're receiving exactly. So it's a five of wands. There's going to be some kind of conflict. There's going to be some kind of argument. Because you're speaking your truth. You're speaking your truth, Leo. And I feel like this person really doesn't want to hear it. But you get the last laugh, Leo, because you are the strength. You are the lion. You have the power. This is also you showing yourself that self-respect, that love, that caring that you need in order to get past the situation. In order to get out of this grief, to move away from it. You know, to move away from this disappointment. You also have the Queen of Wands at the bottom. Now, I've seen the Queen of Wands a couple times now in this reading. So, I feel like you have a lot of passion. You have a lot of fire. You have the full confidence. And I feel like this makes this person a little intimidated because you're so confident. You're so self-assured that, you know, this person sees you as kind of big-headed as, you know, that type of person. But I feel like, I feel like your confidence is your key. Leo, your confidence is... Like, <clears throat> like with David and Goliath, you know, David's confidence, his strength, his trust is what defeated Goliath. You know, and I feel like that's, that's kind of your energy, Leo. I feel like you're able to defeat, defeat the beast because your confidence so, is so high. You're self-assured. You have great strength. Maybe even more strength than, than you know. Beautiful reading, Leo. That is what I'm going to leave you with. You have the strength, Leo. You have the strength to push through any challenge that you go through. And I feel like this next 48 hours may be a bit challenging. But I feel like you are going to come up on top. Your overall energy is the Six of Swords. You're going to be moving past this energy. You're going to be leaving it behind, finding calmer waters. You know? And I feel like that's your goal. That is the goal that you've set. Is to move into that calmer space. 
Okay, Leo. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Leo, <clears throat> until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.